it would obviously at some point at least there must have been a deep love for uh, I'm not saying there isn't now but there must have been a deep love for the kind of horror books that oh, God, yeah. is, is parodying. Yeah. Are you still able to read those and enjoy them or absolutely. or yeah yeah absolutely and actually my 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 uh my frustration with them has has really worn off over the years in that I would often <laughs> read a bad horror novel and go, oh, can you believe that this, how, how, how rubbish this is? And actually, I'll read the same book now and go, I absolutely love that this got published. I love that this, <laughs> that this bad writing saw print. And I love the fact this guy churned out 10 more of them on yeah. a similar theme, uh, you know, because because when I think and you, you, obviously once you've written a book and you know how hard it is and how it is a it is a real test of of kind of uh self-will and stubbornness to actually get that number of words done and when you realize people were doing that on a daily basis and they're churning out thousands and thousands of words i kind of feel that's i just love that because that's really working that is that's like a that's really working at your profession it's very easy to sort sure. of sit around and you know, with scripts. I mean, I love writing scripts as well, but actually there's a huge difference between writing a book and writing a script and that writing a book is proper hard physical work. And, you know, yeah. I, there would be some days that I got up and I would just be dizzy for about three days afterwards because I'd done my neck in sort of leaning over <laughs> and, it, and you kind of, you know, it, it is physically exhausting. So and there's, yeah. you know, I've got that kind of Puritan. Yeah. Well, that must be, that must be worth doing then. <laughs> <laughs>